everyone says that asparagus goes with Sauvignon Blanc. And it does, but it's a lot more fun to put in with prawn linguine. And I've got another little twist for this recipe. I'm going to make a pan grattata or some lovely toasted crumbs to go on the top. It's really going to lift the dish. I've got some olive oil into the pan. My pan was already a little bit warm. Some garlic. I've already crushed it. Now these are sourdough bread crumbs, so really good quality bread. Throwing that into the food processor. Chili. I like mine hot, but if you don't, what you can do is you can take out the membrane because that's what's really, really hot. Chop it finely. In with these. So now for the breadcrumbs. I just want to toast them and they give a lovely, lovely texture. So while they do that, I'll chop some parsley. They're beautifully golden and toasted. I'll just get my pasta pot on. You need plenty of salted boiling water for pasta. I'll take this off the heat now and uh, pop in the parsley. There's my pan grattata, ready to go on the pasta at the top at the end. So just pop it in here to cool. So I'm using linguine, which is like a flat spaghetti. And I like to get it in. And the best thing you can do is stir until that comes back to the boil. If it's not coming back to the boil, Pop your lid on for a minute so that the temperature will come up more quickly and it's boiling. One, and then it will never stick together. While that's cooking, I can get on with the rest of the recipe. So pan on nice and hot again. And once again, a little bit of olive oil. Now my asparagus. Now asparagus, if you go like that, it snaps off at the perfect place where the rest of it is all digestible. And I'm gonna cut in, oh, one to two centimeter pieces. And I like to keep the tips separate because they don't take as much cooking as the stems. Into the pan. Now while that's cooking for a moment, I'll come back to my prawns. Now, beautiful green king prawns. Take off the head, take off the legs, take off the shell. I'll pop the tips in now. In with the prawns. I just wanted them to start to change colour. Some garlic. I love garlic. I need a little bit of a sauce. So some fish stock. And you know this recipe is all about the Sauvignon Blanc. So a little bit of it in here for the sauce will be fantastic. And if kids are having this, it doesn't matter because the alcohol is going to evaporate off. Now finally, some green onions. Now it's time to drain off my pasta. Now, the pasta is al dente, which means to the tooth, not too soft. It can go back in this pan. And if you need a little bit of extra sauce, a great technique is to add some of the pasta water. So toss that through, make sure the pasta's nice and warm and it's all through. And then we're ready to plate up. Always the most fun. But before that, it just needs a little bit of salt. So I'm popping in some capers. I'm popping in some lemon zest. It's the finishing touch. I don't want to cook that through it because it would diminish the flavour. We'll get some pasta out first. I like my sauce to be quite wet. The best thing to do is to pop your plate down and turn it around as you're plating your pasta. And then just make sure that everybody gets some prawns, some asparagus, we need a few of those delicious pan juices. I might just drizzle those over the top. And now the finishing touch is some of this beautiful pan grattata. You can serve the extra in a bowl on the side. It's just gonna be a little bit of olive oil. And then I think we've got a marriage made in heaven with the Nepenthe Sauvignon Blanc.